Hola compadres. Uh, you're making it you're making it difficult to me because I I don't want to say hello guys as I always say but let's see. Okay, determine the coordinates of the centroid for this vertical uh, stabilizer in the airplane. And it's a this is a matter of just uh, doing a problem of calculating the center of areas of composite figures and knowing what are we going to do is dividing these in shapes because remember our formulas is x bar is the summation from i equal 1 to n of x i a i divided by the total area or the summation of the areas and y bar is the summation from i equal 1 to n of y i a i divided by the summation from i equal 1 to n of a i. Those are our two uh, formulas. Uh, this is a 2D problem and this is what we have to do. So as the formula suggests, we have to divide this into figures. Uh, the small amount of figures should be good. And a lot of people is tempted by dividing this in. And I say, oh, these are two uh, two vertical or two triangles. Uh, I'm not so sure those are two triangles. I haven't tried. But I don't think this line and this line coincide and this is a 90 degree angle here. I really don't think so. I think this is going to be a different, a trapezoid or something like that. So if I, I don't want to check it out, I'm going to start in this way. I'm going to say that this external part is a rectangle which measures 11 by whatever distance I have here. I don't know the total distance, horizontal distance, but I know this is 12.5 and I know this is 11. So I can calculate this because I can calculate this. So if I want to calculate this part here, this distance, that distance, I can say that this is equal to 11 divided by tangent of 70 degrees and that's equal to 4. Why Why is that? Because if you say tangent of 70 degrees is going to be 11 divided by this distance x that I don't know how much is that. So if I solve for x, x is equal to 11 divided by tangent of 70 degrees. And that's what we did here. So this is 4, meaning the total base of this rectangle is 16.5. So I have the whole figure here, and then I'm going to subtract this and subtract that one. So the first one that I'm going to subtract is this. Remember, I just calculated this as 4, and the height is 11. And I'm going to subtract also this other triangle here. This is the axis, these are the axis, these are the axis here. This other triangle here, which this is 11. And this distance x2, let's say, I don't know it, but I can calculate it because I know this is 48 degrees. So I can say that tangent of 48 degrees is equal to that distance x2 divided by 11, or x2 equal 11 times tangent 48 degrees, or x2 equals 12 point 22 and the units that we have are meters by the way so this distance now i know is 12.22 meters once we have that the rest is just more of the same we set up our table which is going to be figure area and we're many we're working here in square meters then xi in meters yi in meters also and then a times x and a times y and this is meter cube and meter cube figure area x y a x x y a, a times x and a times y our first figure our first figure is this one remember this is 11 16.5 we can calculate the area, which is 11 times 60.5, and it's 181.5.
x, well, the center of this figure is going to be located at the center. What is the center? Half of the base, 8.25, and half of the height, 5.5. Now multiply this times this, and this is 1497.375, and this times this, and it's 998.25. We're done with the figure one. Figure two, this little triangle. Important, negative, because I'm subtracting. That's one of the most common errors with this part. So the first thing that I do is calculate the area. It's 4 times 11 divided by 2. That's 22. Negative. X is going to be one third from this angle, right? One third of the base. One third of 4. Four third. The height. One third of the height. Here. Here. One third of the height. 11 thirds. This times this is negative 88 thirds, which is negative 29.3 periodic negative. I'm putting the negatives in such a way that I don't forget they are negatives. This times this now, that's 80.6 periodic negative. Done with figure 2. Figure 3, figure 3 is this one. I, I like putting this location of the axis because somehow it's giving me a visual representation of the value that I'm, of the shape that I'm calculating. 2.22, 11, and my center is going to be there. So how, what is the area? 12.22 times 11 divided by 2. That is 67.21 negative. X, my distance from here up to the centroid in X. The centroid is here, correct? So if I want to calculate my distance X, I can do it in several ways, but I'm going to do it like that. The total distance from here to here is 16.5. So I'm going to come from here to here, 16.5. And I'm going to go back one third of the base because the center is going to be located at one third of this base. How much is this base? Well, we just calculated that base, right? It's 12.22. So it's going to be 16.5 minus, remember, this is going to be one third of 12.22, this part. 16.5 minus 12.22 divided by. 3. That's in X. Now in Y, it's just this distance. And this distance is what? 2 thirds of the height. So it's 2 thirds of 11. Remember, this is negative. Now I multiply this times this. By the way, these values, I don't, I don't know. I think it's 12.426 when you calculate this. So this times this is going to give you 835.15 negative. And this one here is going to be 492.87 and it's also negative. This value, remember, comes from this times this. Now what do we do at the end? Just add them up. When I say add, it's not just adding, it's adding or subtracting whatever the case is. So in this case, it's going to be plus, minus, minus, plus, minus, minus, plus, minus, minus. So when you do that, this summation is going to be 92.29, and this summation is going to be equal to 632.92 cubic meters, and this summation is going to be 424.70. 8 cubic meters, meaning that my x bar is going to be this divided by this, 
632.92 divided by 92.29 that is 6.86 meters x bar and my y bar is going to be 424 divided by 78 I mean point 78 divided by 92.29 which gives us a value of 4.60 meters also one thing that I, you have to remember all the time is box your answers and put the units in the answers that's really important well this is a simple problem of calculating center of areas but at the same time, you know, you have to compose different shapes, calculate distances, and be sure that the location of the centroid always depends where your system of your axis of reference and my axis of reference always I put it in the first place where the whole figure is in the first quadrant, as I always say that, and all the distances that I measure are positive. That's why I always try to put my, my axis in that location. Uh, Hope you enjoy the video, as I always say, and I'll see you or maybe you'll see me in the next video. Have a good day.